Today, I have a really fun video in store for you. We have managed to get two identical twins who are actually aging very differently. Uh, and we're gonna use them to introduce two very different types of peels to you. The first is the VI peel, which is a medium depth peel. And the second is a rejuvenized peel, which is a lighter peel. Both of these peels can be used for melasma, sunspots, fine lines and wrinkles, and to just give you an overall healthy glow. As you'll see with uh, our first twin, she has more sun damage that's visible, more uh, lines and wrinkles um, than her sister, who has been having laser treatments and resurfacing treatments throughout her life. So we decided to do the VI peel on our first twin to really get her caught up, uh, to address some of the sunspots, uh, the melasma issues, and to get rid of some of her fine lines and wrinkles. What's different about the VI peel as compared to other medium depth peels is that it's painless. Uh, if you've ever had the TCA peel, you know that you tear up and you feel an intense burning sensation. However, the VI peel has an ingredient called phenol, which actually numbs the skin after the first pass and makes the VI peel far superior as far as patient experience goes. With the VI peel, we can gauge how deep we are going with the peel uh, based on how many passes we perform. What you can expect after the peel is uh, one to two days of a nice glow and tight feeling, and you will experience some amount of peeling after the VI peel uh, at day four and five. By day five to seven, your peeling will be finished. You will have uh, noticeably improved skin texture and skin quality after just one peel. However, depending on how severe the sunspots, melasma, and wrinkles are, you may want to do multiple peels that are recommended um, to be done every six weeks or so until you reach the optimal results that you're looking for. Once you've gotten the VI peel, uh, you will get a post peel kit to go home with so you don't have to worry about which products you can or can't use for the week after you've received the peel. Everything is worked out for you in advance. The VI peel also has different types of uh, boosters that can be added to uh, address acne, melasma, um, aging skin, or severely aging skin. The Rejuvenize Peel by Skin Medica is a lighter peel with less downtime and less peeling than the VI peel. Um, this peel is also good for fine lines, uh, wrinkles, sunspots, and melasma, and we recommend that this peel, peel be performed every four to six weeks as well. The reason why we chose to do the Rejuvenize Peel on our second twin uh, is because she has done resurfacing procedures in the past and she does have an overall healthier skin quality. Uh, and so we thought that this would be the right peel for her just to give her a little boost and a nice healthy glow. The Rejuvenize Peel in general is more affordable as well. And so if you are committed to your skin health, and you are willing to put in the time, as in go in for more procedures more often, then the Rejuvenize Peel is a great option for you. So as you saw in the video, both peels are very well tolerated. Um, you leave the office um, not looking crazy or anything, but just maybe a little bit pink, and uh, we can't wait for you to see what the after results look like. 